the sixth tier of English football. Today I'm going to be showing you why our pyramid is the best in the world. Most foreign fans know the Premier League, Championship, League 1 and 2. But what many don't realise is our passion, dedication and loyalty in the lower leagues. Scunthorpe United, a club who have been through the rough after being relegated three times in the last five years. They were in a huge financial crisis, leading them to play really poorly on the pitch. Fans were being banned, protesting against this huge issue and the club were kicked out of their own stadium. Just put that all into perspective and realise the crisis they were in. They were going to play 20 miles away at Gainsborough, but then that club stated that they had no idea that was happening. It was one big mess, with the fans ultimately thinking that the club could go bust. Then on the 4th of October 2023, the news all Iron fans wanted became reality as they have been taken over by local businesswoman Michelle Harness. The club was saved from disaster and potential liquidation which made the fans more than relieved. Fast forward to today, four months later, where Scunthorpe United, the sixth tier of English football, will be breaking the National League North attendance record, currently being at 6,311. From where the club were at the start of the season to now makes any football fan happy and I'm really excited to make my first visit at Glanford Park. It's second versus fourth as the Irons face Chester. A huge game, a huge occasion, and a massive crowd expected. And it is match day. Oh my god, it's the big one. This is another reason why I want to go today. It's because I've done the 92. I've actually done Oldham, haven't scratched it off. But Scunthorpe, I need to scratch this off. I love my ground hopping, and it's a four hour drive to Scunthorpe today. Four hours. <laughs> Now guys, please keep an eye on the top left of your screen on my window. And we're starting our trip. Oh, I'm not even just kidding. As soon as I start out, a bird just shits on the car. <laughs> I've literally just started this clip. All right, we're going to Scunthorpe. A bird just shat on my car as soon as I've just started this. But we're on the move and it's a four hour drive and I've now got to clean my window. Oh, look at that, it's so fresh. Can we just turn around now, <laughs> please? Right then, folks, welcome to Scunthorpe, home to the University Campus, North Lincolnshire. Well, we're going to the football. Honestly, I treat you to every level of football possible. The other day I was at the Prague Derby, but we're here in North Lincolnshire, Scunthorpe. Unbelievable. Whose idea was this? Just pissing it down. Oh, no, 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 this is the wrong day to come in. Are you joking? It's hailing and everything. I feel like I'm being under attack. Look at this. It looks like I've pissed myself. Right, I think the rain's passed now, but nevertheless, we're heading towards the stadium. One hour until kickoff. Look at the entrance here. I like this. Old school. Yeah, I'm quite a big fan of that, to be honest. Like the entrance, just, it's not new, it's not modern. I like character, and that's exactly what it's got. <music> Sounds to be a little rave here, the fan zone just here. It's actually a really good atmosphere, just pre match. A good environment, have a beer, talk to friends and everything like that. It's a good community. The sixth tier of English football, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it to Scunthorpe United. It's the big day today. They're going to be record holders, breaking the current record of 6,311 attendance. It's just incredible. What a day from being, the beginning of the season where they're about to go bust to now four months, five months later where they're going to be breaking the record in the National League North. It's an absolute joke. And fair play to Scunthorpe. It's a dare celebration. And this is the team they're playing today, Chester Football Club. You've got to give credit to the away fans as well. We're going to mention it again. This sixth tier 970 1000 away fans as well it's a joke at this stand and an absolute joke and i'm excited to get in there and just experience the whole day and just before i enter the stadium i am on the road to 100,000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate it if you left a subscription so here we are we've made it inside look at the stadium sixth tier you know it's credible it's going to be a good day today this is where the scunfort fans we created the atmosphere behind the goal the away end behind the goal here as well it's going to be good and i'll tell you one thing they've done a good job getting this game on because some of the weather today i've seen it was just torrential it, the rain just wasn't stopping and hail as well right i'm joining bradley it's the big one today what's your score uh, i'm off 2-0 scunny i'm really excited it's gonna be yeah. a massive game <laughs> Right, so we're pitch side now. We've got the away fans here, Chester. The Scunthorpe fans behind the goal over there. Honestly, this is going to be really good, but my word, the weather conditions down on the pitch here. Walking around anywhere, it's just like, what is going on? 1,000 fans in the away end for this sixth tier. I'm going to keep repeating that the whole video. Can I just say, it's literally training, and these Chester fans are loud. Credit where it's due, you know. Credit where it's due. The big day for the club. It's a really, really big day. Right here by the dugouts as well. It's just a special day and I'm, I'm so thankful to be here. Look what it means to the fans here. Four months ago, they thought they weren't going to have a club. It's just so good to see happy faces, smiles. Right, we've got some more Scunthorpe United fans. What's score going to be, lads? 2-1, 3-0. And how good is it to see your club back, you know, back running and everything like that? Nice. Really good? 
good. Very good because yeah. we've got 7,000 fans. Apparently we're getting 7,000, so it's going to be a nice approach if we can. Right, it's a 15 minute delay till kickoff here because of the pitch being... What, look over here! They've set off another pyro. Chester, I'll tell you what, they've got some fan base. Well, they're just interrupting what I was about to say. It's 15 minute delay to kick off here because of how waterlogged the pitch was before right hand. It needed a bit of work done, but nevertheless, kickoff is in 15 minutes now. The attendance normally inside this stadium is like 3,000, 3,500. That is literally being doubled today. So when you put it all into perspective, you can see the smiles, the good community, everyone being really friendly, nice, and just all around positive. And I think that's what today is so special about. I sent a special day inside this stadium. This means everything to the fans. This means everything for the fans. A record breaking attendance here in the sixth tier. It's just good to see this fan base happy again. They're back. I think I've counted about six pyros now for Chester and hasn't even kicked off yet. We're just going to keep a counter going. This is why non-league is undefeated, man. This is why English football beats anyone. Anyone, I'm telling you. Give me anyone in Europe and tell me what their attendances are like in the sixth tier of their country. Please tell me. This is fantastic. It just brings a smile to my face. We are, then we are underway here. What a fantastic day, and here is the football. I think the only thing I smell around here is pyros. I'm not gonna lie. I'll tell you what, scum for the start, will it? Attacking well, finding areas down the whip. I mean, it's looking good. Oh, oh, it's so close. It's just a final execution which they're missing, but I'm sure they'll find. Oh. Oh my day. Well, Chester had an opportunity there, just wide. Don't you just love it when you've got a stadium full of character? I'm not a fan of the floodlights, they're a bit too modern in my eyes. You know, I like giving them a little bit of a rating everywhere I go. Nah, not passing my test here. But everything else, traditional, old character, love it. Everything else, got my approval. Tell you what, could be Chester, yep. There it is. Flipping <laughs> egg. The scene's in there. Keeper got wrong footed and it's 1-0 to the away side here. That is a phenomenal scene, I must say. Half an hour into the game and it's 1-0 to the away side, Chester. Do they deserve it? Probably not, but they won 0 up. They took their chance. I'll tell you what though, I think they've run out of smoke bombs. I'm not gonna lie, I think they wasted it before the game. Well, we definitely have a game on our hands now. Fourth place, Chester are winning. And that is it. Half time. One nil to Chester at a break. Um, yeah, it's not really gone to plan, especially on Scunthorpe's big day. But I'll tell you what, the fans of the away side, Chester, fair play to them. They've been electric, they've been loud, passionate, supporting the team. And we are back underway. Let's hope for some more goals. Hello, first side. Bang. Oh, I say. I tell you what, though, corner ball. Good start to the second half. I wish I could tell you what's going on here. Sense a goal. I don't know when, but I just sense it. Yeah! There it is! There it is for Scunthorpe. I said the goal was coming, and there it is. It's 1 1, a good ball in, and I think it has ended up with a little flick on the header. Look at this. Liam is sponsored by. Love that. That is oh, that's class, that. I've now got to get a counter of how many Scunthorpe let off. Oh, go on then. Things you love to see, and the smell of it too. Didn't I say that I sense a goal coming? And we've still got half an hour to go. We could have a good end here, I must say. Whoa. Well then. That's, that's not what you want, is it? Well, I was going to go to the toilet, and then I just see up the other end that Chester are now 2-1 up. Couldn't even see how they went in. I just saw it hit the back of the net. And then the Chester fans went absolutely wild, ran onto the pitch and everything, celebrating the players. Another Pyrus that adds to what, nine now? I don't even know. So there's now a red card uh, to Scunthorpe. It down to 10 men. Honestly, from the space of me, wanted to go and have a piss. 2-1 to Chester, number one. Missed that. Red card to Scunthorpe. Missed that. But at least it's cleared up in the sky. Is that, is that the positive I've got to take now? It's got to be gone. Oh, it's all going off. Oh my days. He might be off as well. This is all going off, non-league. Sick tier. Oh, you love it. Mate, non-league, sick tier. It does, it's undefeated. Non-league, full stop. English non-league. Honestly, Brexit. 
means Brexit. Right, keepers booked. That's number one. Number two. There is another one. Here we go. What's going on here? Yellow. There's three. That's number three. What is, is there four? Yep, yeah, four. There's four. Hold on a minute. We're not done here. That's five. We could be looking at six yellows here. This is mental. Oh, and that's it. Da -da, da -da. I still can't believe it's still 10 minutes to go, to be honest. I feel like just so much has gone on. Have a pop. Have a pop. He is. Passion of the fans! Scunthorpe United are back! Oh, this is an incredible scene! Oh, non-league is finest. Oh, we love non-league. We love non-league, don't we? 2-2 two, two, with 10 men. This is incredible, you know. Even Chester fans are trying to get onto the pitch here. Look at that. It's all going off. This is all like going off from all areas of the stadium. Do you know what? I've got a bin off these European games. Let's keep going non-league. I love it. What is going on? This is just insane. This is community day. And we went for the attendance record. Today's match attendance, 7,000. Oh. Jesus! Three. Mate, that is insane! Insane! 7,511. 1,142 away. That has broke the record by 1,000, over 1,000 fans. Sixth tier of English football. Fair play to all of you. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I don't know. Ten more minutes of this. Go on, then. <laughs> I can't believe I hasn't hit the back of the net. I've got no words. And that is full time here. Two, two. Applause from the fans. And that was a good afternoon at Scunthorpe. I'll tell you that now. I really enjoyed it. Considering they had ten men as well, they played really well. And to break the National League North attendance. <laughs> 1,200 as well, insane. Today was all about community and a day of celebration after years of disappointment. And as a football fan, I am glad that Scunthorpe United are back.